Welcome to the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of reading piping isometric drawings and understanding the bill of materials in a simple, step-by-step -step way. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more educational content on piping engineering. I also want to take a moment to thank our members and subscribers for their continuous support. Now, let's get started with today's educational video. We will perform the explanation on the 6-inch spool 003 pipeline isometric drawing. Let's first to learn bill of materials of this pipeline. There is always a table like this in pipe isometric drawings. This table is list of materials for fabrication. Item numbers, quantities, sizes and descriptions of the materials shown in the next row. Item number 1 is showing in the several places of this pipeline drawing. Let's look at the material list. Item number one, the quantity are 1.2 meters. Size is six inch pipe, ASME, B36.10 M, seamless schedule 80 carbon steel materials, ASDM, A106 grade B. Item number two, are showing in the two places of this pipeline drawing. Let's look at the material list. Item number two, the quantities are two off, size is six inch, Elbow 90 degree, long radius, schedule 80, ASME 16.9, carbon steel materials, ASDM, A234. Item number 3 are showing in the two places of this pipeline drawing. Let's look at the material list. Item number 3, the quantities are two off, size is 6 inch, flange slip on raised face, class 150, schedule 80. ASME B16.5, Carbon Steel Materials, ASDM, A105. The learn of bill of materials are completed. Now, we will begin reading the pipe isometric drawing by following these steps. In this piping isometric drawing, there are six arrows indicating the directions. North Direction South Direction East Direction West Direction Up Direction And Down Direction the person reading the drawing should imagine themselves facing north, with the assumption that they are positioned at the center of these directions. We will begin reading this pipe drawing from this point. The pipeline starts at this flange and extends eastward. At this point, the pipeline turns upward with a 90 degree elbow. Then, pipeline turns northward with another 90 degree elbow. With that, We've successfully completed reading the piping isometric drawing. Now, let's take a look at some useful notes on the drawing. In note number 7, it states that all carbon steel pipework requires coating with paint system A, with the base color being off-white. Additionally, this drawing specifies that the pipeline should undergo a pressure test at 29 bar for a duration of 0.5 hours. Here again, the paint specification is shown in note 7, which we have already reviewed. Additionally, the flange's rotation is illustrated with the AA section here. The flange holes are rotated 2.5 degrees, or 5.3 millimeters, to the right. Now, I would like to present to you some of the fragments that I prepared from the fabrication process of this pipeline. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.